Hi, laborers. Thanks for hopping on board. If you're having a nice day, let's take a look at what that person in your energy is feeling, thinking right now. Hmm. You may be in communication with this person right now. If you're not, they like the communication. This person might be live a distance from you. This might be a long distance relationship. Doesn't have to be. Uh, there's a romance about it, but it looks like somebody here has really been in their head quite a bit. Yeah, they're they're trying to come up with a way to be the most truthful person that they can. That's what it looks like here to me. I think they want to. They've been thinking about this a long time. They, they're in some sort of an emotional turmoil uh, that they're trying to heal from, and they want to be truthful to you about that. That's what this looks like. You, if you're not in communication with them right now, you may expect to be getting a, a message from them or a call or something like that. But they, they want to be truthful. They want to make sure that you know what's going down and maybe offer you a, a clean new beginning, clean slate. This is, this is like clearing the air uh, between you uh, over something that's, that's become emotional for this person. Okay? Like I say, they've been uh, in their head about it, and it's as if they've been healing from uh, past heartache, and they may want to tell you about that or just open up and let you know. Hmm. Wow. Okay. I think they're having uh, deeper feelings for you than you may know. Yeah, they'd like to con come rushing in, but... They're procrastinating. They just don't want to uh, go there right now for some reason. But they do have this anxious energy that if they don't hurry up and and come in here with this Ace of Swords, that you're going to, uh, it, you know, it's going to bite them in the butt later. They're running out of time, basically. They feel they're running out of time. Uh, they might feel like they're going to lose you. They're wondering if I, they're thinking, if I lose Libra, am I losing maybe a soulmate or someone that could have been really um, important in my life, someone that could really love me? They're going through their head over this for some reason, yet they're not coming in. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, they're kind of stuck. They're stuck. They're, they may, might have some kind of plans for the future, you know, but they're a little mixed up now. Uh, I think their emotions have got them uh, thrown off here a bit. Okay. Yeah. The, if they do come clean with whatever they have to tell you. And, and it has to do with their feelings and their, I think their past heartache, what's happened to them in the past, that that will uh, improve the situation and help things move forward. They'll get stuck. They, they won't be stuck anymore. What do they want to tell you? What do they want to tell you? They think that's the only way to be, just honest with you, which is a good thing, of course. They're trying to be humble. They're trying to stay in this neutral energy of, uh, you know, not getting angry, not, you know, trying to understand uh, your situation. You know, they're just... 
yet there's a lack of energy here. I mean, they, they have a nervous energy to them, but I'm trying to be humble by being honest. But you know what? You're, you're getting excited about the prospect of a new person coming into your life. And I think that's going to happen. And uh, you're going to be exhilarated over this. Now, if this, is just a new, if this is a new acquaintance here in your energy, it might be this person that you've been very excited about. If they're new or relatively new, but you could be have your mind on a completely new relationship that you're excited about, okay? And I, oh, I'm getting the picture here now. They feel their time is running out. They're getting uh, nervous and jittery about it because uh, they think you're moving on, and and they're going to lose a soulmate. That's what I'm getting here. They don't know. See, they've been on the fence about this. They've been wondering, you know, in this uh, Four of Swords in reverse here, they've been praying for a brighter day, but they need some understanding, you know. And they've been kind of on the fence. They're trying to figure this out. And uh, they're running out of time with all this procrastination. So, yeah, they're thinking that, what if I just let Libra go and come to find out you know, my emotions finally told me, or in my heart, told me that, you know, that could have been my soulmate. And I'm, I lucked out. But they think that by telling you the truth, putting all the cards on the table, having an open and honest relationship with you, that that'll be lucky. And the Wheel of Fortune will, will again be able to move in their favor. Which it looks like it might. And I don't know how you feel about this person, and I'm not sure, you know, if it's a new person that you've just been dealing with, like I said, or if this is some brand new person that's going to pop up that you don't even, you're not even considering or even know about right now. We'll just keep reading. We'll figure it out. Okay. What's in this message? this message oh, oh I see okay fun going out okay let me get let me get a little bit more here okay you know what this new I'm beginning to look like looks like this person right here that we're talking about okay this is here we go I think you have people that are interested in you in your horizon but this person that's in your energy here they're trying to figure out what the heck's going on with them and they're kind of shy I mean they're they're they have a hard time opening up and sharing their feelings the sit card says here, this new person is kind of shy. Uh, and I think they've been hurt before. So what's happening here is uh, once bitten, twice shy, that kind of thing. You know. They're cautious. But I think this person would be a lot of fun with. you. This person here in your energy, you know, you might know him, you might... I've met him somewhere at some time and, and had fun with him, like at a party or something. And, they, and, and you both thought that you, you were fun. You had fun. Maybe you got a crush on each other at that time. But you know what? Spirit wants you to, again, we, we get this card every once in a while. Appreciate what you have. There's so many poor people out there in the world. They're in despair, homelessness, and everything. But you have those things, presumably. You know? Appreciate what you have. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Okay. This looks like it's a slow process. But this person is opening their heart for you. They're shy. They're slow. They're in their head. They've been hurt before. They want to be honest, humble. This, this is beautiful. Beautiful. But so far, it's just that they're uh, very unsure of themselves. You know, Libra, you, you rarely show your wild side. But when you do, you some, sometimes scare yourself. Yeah, maybe on a full moon. <laughs> and now you're on the fence about this person. Oh, boy. Yeah. I think that you've been dealing with this and uh, you're not getting what you want out of this relationship or friendship or whatever it is here. I don't see much romance here except for this soul, soulmate card that uh, they think that they're going to miss out on if they don't hurry up and do something about it. But you're on the fence now. You may see these other opportunities. Uh, life it might have become more fun, fun, a little more fancy free for you. And you're thinking, oh man, maybe, maybe I don't want to deal with this, all this, per this person and all their, their problems or hangups or emotional wall or whatever it is. Yeah, you really don't have much time these days for fun games. If this person just wants to uh, keep it on a superficial level or whatever, be honest with you and all that, and still keep themselves closed off, what good's that going to do you? You're going to have a new beginning. And that's going to help you achieve your dreams. Okay. You're off. You're thinking about a new direction. You you may have other plans now. This person just might, might be in your dust. You might have left them behind already. In your mind, in your heart, whatever. This person might have hurt you in some aspect just by not reciprocating, basically. I don't see any disloyalty here or because the person isn't even committed. So, but I don't see them. If you ask them a question, they're going to tell you the truth or just not even answer it at all. That's what I'm thinking here. Like you could, if you're talking to this person, you could ask them some questions. They might answer one and then the rest of them go unanswered. Because you know what? They don't really know the answer. If you ask them about emotions or you're working on them in some aspect to, you know, open up, they don't even know. They've lost themselves in some aspect here, I tell you. It's, they always act like everything is cool when actually they're nervous. Mm -hmm. That's just what I was saying practically here. Whoa, well, let's see. Yeah, now you might meet somebody new. That's, that's just it. I see activity in your life now. You've changed your frame of mind or something here. And, uh, and I think that's going to open up doors for you. Just changing the way you view life and, and uh, your heart and, and certain situations. You know you're an air sign. It's as though you've, you know, you've flown up to a higher elevation, and uh, you know you can look down and, and and get a clear view of everything that's been going on now that you were involved in. But you're up here now. You're 
you're in the jet stream. Mm. But you, you might be wondering, how long can I uh, exist or, or keep soaring in this jet stream? How long is it going to carry me? Well, it'll carry you as far as your heart and your mind how, as far as you, 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 you will allow your heart and mind to carry you. That means having a positive attitude, you know. Good moral base. Strength, courage. To keep that plane way up there in the jet stream. And I think that's where you're headed, or you're in it right now. Yeah, this person's hanging on to pain, guilt, you know, anger, whatever it is that's that's hurt them in the past, and they're they're trying to heal from it. And I think that could be one of the major obstacles in this relationship this process that they feel they need to go through or they're, they're going through. They think they're searching for the truth. They're trying to find themselves and, and in that they'll find the truth. And, you know, it's a big, heavy, heavy number for them. Who knows if they're on the right path or whatever, but they're trying. And being truthful is uh, with themselves and with others. That's, that's huge. That's a big, good thing. Yeah, there you go. They feel time is running out. It's only a matter of time before they're going to lose you. And then they're going to wonder, like I say, what it would have been like if they'd have stuck around with this person that they felt could have been their soulmate. And pop it. the card is in the upright position. I think you could be soulmates, but there's... A lot of opticals here. You don't always get together with a soulmate. There's a lot of soulmates out there. Two. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to put up with any more mind games. If you feel this person has been working on your mind, that actually that could also be your own mind telling you stories. If this person isn't talking to you and being really upfront with their emotions and their feelings, then your mind could be telling you stories. You know, falsehoods, confusing you. You could be playing mind games with yourself. You know, trying to figure this situ out, situation out, not knowing how they really feel about you because they're acting so cold-hearted and, uh, you know, got their Motion so sealed off, but you don't know. I mean, you may just wonder. Yeah, and you're on the fence. You may wonder. They see you don't know if they're concealing their emotions from you out of shyness or just this pain or whatever they're going through. And then you think, well, if they're just concealing those emotions, and they really do uh, dig me, then, uh, you know, but I can't wait around for this, I can't wait for somebody to heal up, you're just like, hmm, 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 and you're very interested uh, in, in uh, you know, getting out there, having fun, meeting new people, people are interested in you, you know, you're wondering, is it even worth wasting my time hang, hanging around, waiting for somebody to tell me how they feel and you know this person might want to be totally honest with you with this with this ace of swords here but the ace is cold you know they might want to be totally honest with you but that doesn't mean they're gonna you know tell you how they feel really because it's a it's a sword they'll talk about everything else and and you know you know they'll talk about you know their belief system or the path that they're on to heal and all that. Maybe even talk about have a spiritual r relationship with you, but that's about as far as it goes and this and that. And you're like, you know, I've been there. 
I've been all through all the spiritual stuff, all the books, all the self-help, all that and everything, and I came to my own realization about myself. Now, this person, they're, they're doing that, but you've been there, been there, done that. And you're like, man, it, you know, because the journey for uh, self-exploration and self-discovery, that, that takes a long time for most people. And you're like going, man, this person hasn't figured it out yet. It could take forever before they healed themselves and figured out who they were and came to grips with the reality of their own character and their own nature and, you know, all that stuff. So you're like, well, I don't, that's just too much right now. I don't want to relive all that again and go through all that with them again or even try and heal them because they got to go through that journey pretty much on their own. You know, you can tell them things and stuff, but then it just looks like you're trying to have one-upmanship on them. They're, they're thinking now that they're getting it. They're getting their spiritual thing together. They're getting their, their life together. You come in, you start trying to heal them. They just think that's your ego coming in. Because you're the spiritual one, and now you want to tell them how to be, and that, that just, you know what, I, I, my advice in this situation, as far as this reading goes so far, is let this, this you know, be friends with them, but don't waste time, don't talk to them all the time, don't, you know, just let them do whatever they think, until they figure it out, figure out if they're on the right path, the wrong path, or whatever path they may be on. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Wow. I haven't uh, spieled it out that long or for, for quite a while. Okay. Okay. This person, oh, this has to, well, let me get a couple more cards here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. This person could be a really good, this is this reading. Um, you know, all the readings are a little different and they're not for all Libras. It couldn't possibly be. But in this reading, this person is definitely searching for their happiness. They do want a partner, but they want the perfect partner. They want the best partner they can get. Um, they're very, very concerned about someone coming in and conning them or I actually feel like in their heart they believe that you would be a perfect perfect match for them a really good partner uh, you might have a lot in common here with this person they see a future with you but they're not expressing it because this person has a real paranoia that's, that, that uh, maybe not just you, but maybe everybody, you know, paranoia of somebody coming in and pulling the wool over their eyes, conning them, and ruining whatever they're working on, this perfect happiness, you know, this perfect partnership. They're... I think they're just worried that this person is an overthinker and they they got some ideas here about, you know, protecting themselves in a massive way. Uh, um, that might be part of the hurt from the past. Somebody might have really taken advantage of them. I mean, brutalized them. Somebody that they loved. Somebody that they thought really highly of turned out to be quite the opposite of the person that they thought they were. They might even have been married to this person. Yeah. So now they have to find themselves. This person had 
complete control over this, this person in your energy. The person they were with, the horrible person they were with, had complete control over their energy. And now they're trying to find themselves, rediscover or discover who they really are. And you, you got right in the middle of this, Libra. You got right into the middle of this. It could be a lesson for you, too. Because here you are over here. You've been in limbo over this for a while. You've been thinking about it, caught up in thoughts, you know, wondering where this is going to go. Is this person ever going to open up? Are they ever going to heal? And you're like, hmm, I'm just, I'm just here hanging in the breeze. Not really sweating it, but just maybe trying to pull back your emotions from this so that, you know, it, it can just happen. Whatever happens with them just happens with them. Because over here, you're nourishing yourself. Yeah, you got bigger fish to fry and a lot of hope. Mm -hmm. You've got star quality and you know it. And I think you're, you're, you're saying to yourself, you know, do I need all this uh, baggage coming into my life here? Because I got bigger fish to fry. I, I'm, I'm getting healthy. Uh, I, people are noticing me. Uh, I'm positive. I'm faithful. I, I have a lot of hope. And uh, you're over here going, you know, Maybe I shouldn't think so much about, you know, love and passion and, and all that. Because you, you got the star card here, and you got the ace of wands in reverse now. I mean, I think you got something that is, is more important to you now than, than even romance, you know. I think you're... you're you're having a new sense of freedom here and you're very hopeful about the future and it has to do with your getting attention you're shining out yeah yeah so you're like like I said that one card that said you're on the fence I do believe you are and you may be just hopping off that fence and uh, riding off uh, into your future and leaving this person in the dust. Or our friendship list. You know, if they're truthful with you, they're honest with you. Doesn't look like they've done anything here to hurt you. Except maybe waste your time. You know, check in on them from time to time. Stay friends. But don't let that distract you from your star card here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody has uh, ripped them off or something in the past. Somebody who uh, thought they had money, or if this person does have money, they've been taken before. Maybe through bad investments or just people that conned them. Or, or even uh, someone that they uh, trusted conned them. Looks like, yeah, stole something from them. They got lied and cheated to and stolen from. And looks like this person has been through the mill. But you know what? They, they might have given this person that was hurting them chance after chance. Kept coming back to them or letting this person come back into their life. It seems like that's a family man, so it's... it's yeah, it seems like it's probably uh, someone that they were married to. It sure looks like it. Had a family with somebody. And that person, you know, kept hurting them, but yet come, they keep let them keep coming back, let them keep coming back to hurt them over and over again, or something like that. And then they realized if they could get rid of this person, get them out of their life, that then they could venture forth to find a bright and sunnier 
new existence. This person wants to start a whole new life is what they want to do. That's where, what they're doing. They're trying to figure out what's best for them. They're trying to figure out who they really are. Uh, they're trying to realize that they maybe shouldn't be so shy anymore and, and, and more open with people, not so protective. Yeah, they're trying to learn how to slowly open their heart again, but I don't see it in a romantic way. I see it as in a way that they're just trying to learn to love and be loved. Yeah, this is this person's been damaged. It's sad because it looks like they're a good person. It really does. Just just uh, damaged. I, they don't want to lie to you. They might not want to tell you all their secrets and stuff, but they don't want to lie to you. And and if and if you do uh, decide to hang out with this person or keep working on them or whatever, you know it's going to take a clean slate on your on your side too. So if you got baggage or you're attached to someone else and, and you want to be with this person, you're going to have to detach as well. This has to be a completely clean slate, totally honest. Okay. Now, hmm. You've made, you're making up your mind. I think you've come to a decision. You've been thinking in limbo here with the hangman and then, and then they got the two of swords in reverse, which means that you've been up in your emotions for quite some time. A lot of blue on the two of swords, that's emotions. Been thinking about this. Mostly with yourself. You haven't been talking to many people about it. You're not taking much advice or anything. But you've, you finally come to a conclusion. It looks like you're really close to it. And I'm thinking, uh, mm, yeah, if this ace of wands in reverse, that's, you might have had some hope for that, but now you're hoping in a new direction. Yeah. You've spent some time. You've spent some time. This person did cause you a little bit of pain. Did cause you to dwell up some emotion and uh, think about them at night. Maybe a little guilty over your actions or how everything's going on. I don't know. But I'll tell you what. You've decided that you're going to quit all that. You're going to quit worrying about anybody. And you're going to carry on after that star card. Yeah. I think you've come to the realization that you've been a little codependent when it comes to relationships. I think maybe you get uh, just carried away in your emotions right off the bat when you get involved with somebody and you start looking at it maybe with rose-colored glasses. And uh, now, you're, now you're seeing yourself as, man, I got to... I can't do that anymore. I can't be like that. I can't just come off like I'm needy or I'm codependent or, you know, I want something so much that that, that it's obvious. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> I'm just not going there anymore like that. I, I, you're starting to, you know, maybe not seal your emotions off, but check them. Check your emotions before you throw them out there. I don't think you want to be vul <clears throat> Be vulnerable. <clears throat> in the same way you have in the past with, with other people. You're just coming to your uh, a, a realization that being vulnerable, throwing my heart out there, you know, that wasn't wise of me, and I'm not going to do that anymore. Because that always gets me all up in my nerves and my energy, and I don't get reciprocated, and I scare people off, and you're going through all those kind of thoughts. And some of it is you know, most of it's probably true, okay? All right, well, let's see what these have to say. So it looks like you might be, well, oh, they're just, I don't want to take those. 
looks like you're just uh, in between a transition period where you might have got in this relationship might have been karmic or is karmic that doesn't mean it's bad it's just a lesson we learn lessons all the time a karmic doesn't mean they're a bad person. It's just someone there in your path that you have to learn a lesson from or with. Okay. Yeah, this person feels like they just can't talk to you right now. And what I get out of that card is doesn't mean they can't literally talk to you. Of course they can talk to you. But they can't express themselves right now because they haven't figured out how they really feel. They haven't figured out how, if they should express themselves or not. They don't know because they're on this path of exploration, it looks like. And it's... Uh, this path that they're on is keeping themselves not opening up. It, it's keeping everything still bottled in. It's like they're taking true emotions and then bottling them up and sealing it so that these true emotions can't hurt them. They're trying to change those emotions into something that they can live with and they think that's going to make them, you know, make everything all right. If I just hide my emotions, keep them all bottled up, turn them into something that I feel that I can live with, where I can describe my emotions in some alternative manner, then that's just going to be all right. That'll be the way to go. But in reality, they're just building up all the more and more emotions because they don't have a release for it. This person may not even cry, and they need a good cry. That's what I'm, they're just... i got to tell you, they may have the greatest uh, appearance or the smoothest character or just really nice, really lovely person. But on the inside, they're a mess. They are a mess. So yeah, you stepped right into this. <laughs> you stepped right into this. You could be dealing with a water sign. I don't go for much signs because we talk about, you know, <sighs> the zodiac much here because I get every energy of every zodiac sign out here by the time I'm done with my reading, so. But anyway, that's what the card says there. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, this person just doesn't know where to start. They don't know how to start it up. They, don't, they can stay superficial. You guys can talk. You can be honest with each other, but they're not going there. They're not going to go deep with you. But they can't stop thinking about you because they know that you're their soulmate. You know that they know that you're their two of cups, but but they're just not going to go there. Like I say, they're sealed off. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it here. My goodness. I feel like this reading is over, but take another card here. Now it looks like it's going to be up to you if you want to keep dealing with this person or, or you want to follow your dream. Uh, it looks like you could follow your dream and put this person on a friends list. And if you're curious, you want to see what's going on with them down the road or whatever. That looks like what you probably ought to do, because like I say, I think you've jumped into situations prematurely, made you look codependent or needy, and you don't want to you don't want to do that anymore either. That's not your style. You know. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you just 
you know, when you're just being honest, when you open up your emotions and tell people how you feel about them and all that and everything, uh, if they don't reciprocate, then they tell you that you, you, you're coming off as needy. I'm needy because I share my emotions and how I feel. That's needy. Don't let anybody ever tell you that. Don't let anybody ever tell you that you're needy just because you're you're sharing or you're talking about your aspirations and your love and whatever. Yeah, this person can't handle your love. Man, that's what it says right here. Oh, they they look at you. They get online. If you got uh, videos or pictures or whatever like that, they get on there and they look at that. They're always looking to see if you... Uh, if you're on the, in fact, this person might be getting kind of a slight codependency on you, and you have no idea about it. They might have attached to your to your energy here, and uh, they just w want to make feel like they're part of your energy. Because this person's lonely, but they can't handle your love. Like I say, they it's too much for them. It's overwhelming, they, and it's screwing up their spiritual path or whatever it's on. It's distracting them. And that's good, because uh, you know if this is a lesson, if this is a karmic thing, you know that you're teaching them something. You are teaching them something here. Yeah, they can't do this right now. Can't talk to you. Can't you know? Can't do this with you. These cards are just confirming themselves over and over again today. Usually, these cards are really positive. We're on the positive side usually. And they're just coming out slightly negative and uh, all right in order. Can't handle your love. Can't do this right now. I can't stop thinking about you, though. But I, but I can't talk to you. Yeah, they're a mess. Yeah, this person hasn't ever uh, maybe been in this situation before. Not this intense of a connection. I think their past connections might have been uh, faults. They definitely were tied up with somebody, looks like married to them. Married or really tightly connected to someone who they trusted and loved, who really stole, stole money, time, emotions. And they kept letting this person come back. Hmm. Well, okay. We're going to let this one lie for now and we'll check it out again next time. Thanks for stopping by. Until then, peace and love to you.